Today we're taking an old LP, one of my favorites, and transferring it to an MP3. Using a very inexpensive record player and garage band on a Mac. This process might be similar using other DAWs, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. On the back of even inexpensive modern record players, you should see a USB out. Here, it's marked PC. You can also use the red and white audio out, but that's a video for another time. This is the plug we're gonna be using. Hook up the USB cable and attach it to your computer. Go to system settings, then go to sound and make sure that the computer is recognizing the USB input. This was plug and play for me and I didn't need to do anything specific. Next, open GarageBand and create a new project. Here in the bottom center, we have recording settings. Just make sure that your input shows that the USB device is connected. Here you can see USB PNP audio device. That's the record player. This is very simple. Most importantly, make sure these settings up top are turned off. Then simply start your recording in GarageBand and then set the needle on the record to get it to start playing as well. In just a few seconds, it should look like this. Of course, you can stop after one track or record the entire album. When the record is done, just stop the recording in GarageBand and then you can edit the whole WAV file. You can cut it down into individual tracks and export them as single MP3s, taking out all the dead space. If you'd like to see a detailed process of how I do that, leave a comment below and maybe I'll make another video showing you exactly how simple that is. Well, that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give me that thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video.